What I'll attempt to do here is to demonstrate a possibility of how to mount the plastic disc here with the magnets onto a steel disc. One of the troubles that one gets into a little bit um, is that the magnets are quite strong and I mean, I've pinched my fingers in between the two discs, it's quite painful. So just as a possibility, once the magnets are mounted in the disc here, then I put them now upside down on this board, which is a, a sort of plastic, call it. It's something that the magnets aren't attracted to. And then I'm going to now shift it over. You can see that actually it's pulling, and I've got to push it a little bit. If I get it more or less into the, the correct position there, and then <coughs> attempt to actually push. It's actually not that easy. I'll just try and slide both down now. Pull it out here. What's also useful here is I can see here's a hole. So I'll, I'll try and put it on there more or less in the right mounting position already. There's another hole. I'll just try and get it more or less correctly. You can see the magnets are pulling quite hard. Okay. Go. It's on there. Now, at the moment, the holes do not 100% line up. Um, what I found works quite well is when, when one takes like a little dowel like this and a plastic hammer and one just taps to turn it. It actually does manage to turn it. What is also useful I'm showing it like that now. It turns actually much better if one plonks um, the middle part into there, which I've done now. But basically, um, the idea of it can be seen how it's done. And then obviously afterwards, one can put the screws in.